one of the main ingredients that goes into making a hero, but the mark of being one as well. Some superheroes start off powerful, some join the ranks of the great after inheriting a great power, but whatever the case, there comes a time when a hero must show the world what he or she is made of. And that brings us to the topic of today's video on the TV region, the top 10 superhero power demonstration scenes in movies. In the following selections, you'll find situations where a hero is prompted to unleash their full force and might at a time when it's most needed. There are also instances when a hero is simply showing their rivals what stern stuff they're made of. So let's get right down to it. You shouldn't have killed my mom and squished my Walkman. <laughs> Starting things off is Peter Quill, aka Star Lord, standing up to Ego in 2017's Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2. What do you do when you're up against an entire planet who just so happens to be your long lost dad, who now wants to use you as a pawn in his plan to take over the planet and make them an extension of himself? Well, you fight back, of course. Quill's world comes crashing around him when Ego, or his human avatar at least, reveals that his birth was part of his grand plan for world domination, that he killed his beloved mother and that he's gonna do the same to his friends too. Breaking free of the Celestial's control, Quill body tackles Ego and lands a good few punches. No doubt this is one of Star-Lord's toughest fights, and yet in true Guardians of the Galaxy tradition, this ultimate father-son bust-up has a wonderfully dreamy, nonchalant, even musical quality to it, set to the tune of Fleetwood Max The Chain. Effective and entertaining in equal measure. What? No, no, all right. I know that sounds bad. Up next is Jean Grey unleashing her powers in 2016's X-Men Apocalypse. There's no doubt that the final battle against Apocalypse, the world's first and most powerful mutant, could have been won without Jean Grey's contribution. She started off as something of a bystander actually, letting her fellow X-Men take the fight to Apocalypse in the real world while Professor X deals with the great menace in the astral plane. But when Apocalypse threatens to overwhelm their combined might, she finally lets go of her fears at the good professor's urging and gives in to the power she holds within herself. Bathed in the fiery symbolism of the Phoenix, she not only manages not to lose herself to the darkness within, but she obliterates the enemy, turning him into nothing. This is one of the most powerful moments in the film, one that perfectly captures the essence of Jean Grey, which is that she can be your greatest ally in a battle or an unstoppable evil you can neither control nor kill. Coming in at number 8 is that moment in 2016's Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice when the latter survives a nuclear bomb. As Superman takes Doomsday deep into the stratosphere, the military authorities launch a nuclear bomb on their heels after a brief argument over whether it's right to sacrifice the good guy to beat the bad guy. Well, as it turns out, it was a terrible idea. Doomsday not only returns, but returns stronger, having absorbed the energy from the blast. Luckily though, Superman shares the artificially bred creature's Kryptonian origins and survives the missile as well. All of which makes you scratch your head at the climax of this movie, which we won't go into the details of this time. Despite the bad decision, what's undeniable is that this scene deserves a spot on this list. After all, it takes something to survive a nuclear attack without even lifting a finger, even if you're Superman. After a brief period of shriveling up and floating about in space, we know the Man of Steel's alright when his eyes give off that familiar red Next up is a tribute to upper body workouts as Steve Rogers stops a helicopter mid-flight with his, get this, bare hands. 
Okay, so we know that Rogers has received the perfect super soldier serum, which makes him the Marvel Cinematic Universe strongest soldier. And if there's anyone who can stop a helicopter in its tracks, it is of course him. But that logic doesn't take away from the jaw-dropping intensity of this parade of power in 2016's Captain America Civil War. This isn't one of those familiar sequences where we see a superhero suited Rogers take on formidable rivals with his trusted shield and brave heart. What we get instead is a cap in a tee with his bulging biceps holding onto the runaway chopper and bringing it down. And in case you were wondering, as many fans were, the directors of Civil War have already clarified those muscles are 100% Chris Evans. So there you have it, the great power demo that's completely original with none of those digital enhancements that's the stock of Hollywood superhero sagas. At number 6 we have the revelation of Jean Grey's phoenix power in 2006's X-Men The Last Stand. Not to be mistaken with entry number 9 though. The Jean Grey story is one of the most enticing character studies in the X-Men comics. It's also one of the most experimented upon storylines in the X-Men movies, making the plot of not one but two movies, The Last Stand and 2019's Dark Phoenix. While the former got a lot of flack for using the Dark Phoenix saga as a subplot, a footnote even, the latter embraced the story in its entirety and carried the heavy burden of doing it justice. Now we're not here to judge either movie, but to talk about the scene that best captures the telekinetic superheroine's transformation into the super villainous Phoenix. In the final battle in The Last Stand, Jean's a woman possessed as she surrenders to the dark pull of the cosmic entity within her and destroys all who cross her path. This isn't the Jean that we know, the one afraid of her own powers, but unafraid to sacrifice herself for her teammates. The Phoenix is pure evil, and this change is chillingly memorable. Moving on from helicopters to submarines, number 5 features a defining moment for Magneto in 2011's X-Men First Class. In this scene, the dangerous and charismatic mutant drags a submarine off the ocean floor and makes it float mid-air while hanging himself off the X-Jet. There's no doubt that Magneto is one of the most compelling characters in superhero movies. That's partly to do with his conflicting nature. He's bad, but his reasons for being bad are entirely believable. He also has good in him, and that is, again, not difficult to believe. The other reason that makes Magneto such a remarkable character is his skill set. To say simply that his ability is magnetic manipulation is to do him a great disservice, given the different ways in which he can use his power. And since First Class is the X-Men's origin story, we have to say that the submarine seed, which is awesome in its simplicity, is the perfect vehicle for a young Magneto to show the world exactly what he's capable of. Let's just say I'm Frankenstein's monster. I'm looking for my creator. Everybody comes home. In the fourth spot, we have Hulk snapping his fingers in 2019's Avengers Endgame. The last two installments of the Avengers movies are all about the snap. In 2018's Infinity War, Thanos snaps his fingers and kills off half of the universe. In Endgame, Hulk rights that wrong and brings back those missing millions with a snap. But this time it's a happy moment, and yet a physically painful and arduous task for the big guy. He struggles with the Infinity Gauntlet, has his right arm horribly damaged, and barely manages to complete the task. Why was the snap so hard on him and not so much on the others? Well, there are all kinds of theories that explain Hulk's struggles, none of which takes away from this momentous event and his role in it. Hulk might be the strongest Avenger physically, but we all know that he has had his issues, what with the struggle between Bruce Banner and the mindless green monster. 
But here in this seed, we have Smart Hog, who offers the best of both worlds and gets the job done. And that's something to cheer for. None of you could survive. How do we know you will? We don't. But the radiation's mostly gamma. It's like, uh, I was made for this. Rounding up the top three is Wolverine, who's no stranger to demonstrations of power and strength, and trust this mutant to survive what no human possibly could, an atomic bombing. In 2013's The Wolverine, the Claude Crusader not only survives a B-29 during the bombing of Nagasaki in World War II, but saves a young Japanese soldier from certain death. Shielding the soldier from the blast with his bare skin, Wolverine's entirely engulfed by the fiery pit, which leaves him horribly burnt. Luckily for him though, his adamantium skeleton and regenerative powers make him indestructible, which is the only reason why he survived what is arguably the world's worst nuclear disaster. Depictions of real events from history to bolster a storyline in a superhero story can be a risky prospect. There's the danger of trivializing the event or worse, making the situation look silly and outlandish. But somehow, Wolverine saving the day Nagasaki works just goes to show that when it comes to bringing out the full might of the most popular X-Man, only the direst situation will do. All oh, fathers give me strength. You understand, boy? You're about to take the full force of a star. It'll kill you. Ugh. In the runner-up spot, we have the God of Thunder himself. Like Wolverine, Thor's one of the strongest superheroes around, and his godly weapons are part of the reason why he's such an unstoppable force. With that being the case, it can only be that any weapon Thor wields must be special, like Stormbreaker, the axe built with the sole purpose of killing Thanos. In 2018's Avengers Infinity War, when Thor has the Stormbreaker forged, it almost costs him his life. The enchanted axe can only be created on Nidavellir, a neutron star that Thanos has laid to waste. To restart the now cold forges on Nidavellir, Thor, with the help of his friends, must now reignite the dying star and in the process, take the full force of its power. A power so great that it leaves the Asgardian god burnt to a smoldering crisp and knocked unconscious. A high price to pay, but boy is Stormbreaker worth it. Not only is the axe custom built to kill the Mad Titan, it can summon the power of the Bifrost, which makes its wielder a master teleporter while also generally enhancing his powers. In the number one spot is Spider-Man, your friendly neighborhood web-slinger who can stop a runaway train in its tracks with wide-eyed desperation and some extra sticky webbing. There's something about Peter Parker that makes him more relatable than any other superhero. Despite his abilities, Parker's more human, more ordinary, and definitely more nerdy. More like us mere mortals, I guess. He doesn't always have the answers at his, well, fingertips, and yet somehow he comes good when it matters. Like that moment in 2004 Spider-Man 2, when the train without brakes is on the verge of falling into thin air with terrified passengers inside who aren't at all convinced about the Guardian standing between them and a very watery grave. But good old Spidey gets the job done, even if he passes out right after due to the effort it took him and the toll on his mind and body. It's not easy to save lives and be a hero, and Spider-Man shows us exactly that in this very memorable demonstration of willpower rather than mere power. The crowd surfing at the end, when the grateful passengers carry their exhausted saviour over their heads, is just the reward this hero deserves. And that brings us to the end of this video. What do you think of my selection of the top 10 superhero power demonstration scenes in movies? Write and let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. You can also check out the other videos on my channel, The TV Region, and if you'd like, subscribe to it for more cool content. I'll see you soon with a brand new video. Stay tuned till then.